Okay, just wanted to go over my quick uh, Arduino project here. Pretty basic, got a 2x16 LCD. I've got two push buttons on top, two blue LEDs. I got a red push button, blue LED, and a power switch. Inside, basically, we've just got a 9 volt battery with a 5 volt regulator, small breadboard. The LCD is uh, by Parallax and also has a piezoelectric buzzer in it. Um, so this is the chip that I have chosen to use. It is the OSEP um, Pro Mini. Um, I've gone ahead and added some pin headers to it um, for going in. It is already programmed and ready to go with my code. Um, this is a timer that I made for my kids to brush their teeth. They always fight over, um, you know, what, how much time they have left and who's spent more time brushing and whatnot. So I'm going to put this chip in here and I'll start it up for you. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put the OSEP chip back in. Um, I originally prototyped this with an Uno um, to get all my bugs worked out and everything, and then once I had everything working the way I wanted it to, I moved it over to that Pro Mini OSEP. Um, chip, which is great. It doesn't have any USB um, stuff on it. Um, makes it really small and compact um, and good to go. You can see pretty much the only thing um, in here is over here, that camera will focus, there's a 5-volt regulator. That's for both the LCD and the um, OSEP chip, even though it has an onboard built in. Um, so I'll go ahead and put the unit back together here. wanted to make it waterproof so I went ahead and used some uh, Sugru around the edges to make it a little more waterproof. So basically what we'll do here, kind of lean this box up like this, we'll go ahead and turn the power on and you'll see it comes up with uh, both my daughter's names there. And what I'm going to do is press um, this first button here and the blue light illuminates and then you can see it begins to count down um, two minutes which is their brushing time so since we had a problem with people starting at different times um, I also created this second button so that my other child could start her timer whenever she was ready so you can see now both lights are illuminated and counting down I'll probably pause the video here for a second and let these count down to show you what it, they're like when the alarm goes off. So now we've got a countdown going here on the second one. You can see the light is lit there and the alarm is about to go off. You can see it sounds for five seconds or so. Then it goes silent. Um, while I wait for another feature to kick in here. Um, I'll explain why I did what I did. Um, I had originally considered putting the unit to sleep and um, not having a power switch on the unit, but um, it quickly grew out of scope and finding the right chip. Uh, this is what I was waiting for. If the unit does not turn off in within 30 seconds of either being turned on or within 30 seconds of being turned off, it goes into an alarm um, until someone invariably turns it off. So once you turn it off, the alarm silences. Or if you'd pressed a button again to uh, start another timer, then it would have silenced that and gone back to the timer and started counting down again. Um, but the sleep function just didn't seem feasible, um, especially with the 5 volt regulator and things like that. I felt uh, just grew out of scope for this project. Didn't want to deal with the relays and things like that. I wanted to keep it really simple and on the cheap. So anyway, there you have it. Very simple timer that uh, makes bedtime a lot easier for the kids. There it is again with nothing going on. If you'd like, I'll go ahead and we can start that timer. Start the other timer as well and they'll count down together very close to it. So anyway, that is the uh, very simple project.